Hello, this is Dave, KA6BFB. Today we are at the ham shack of Greg, WB2FXO. Hello, how you doing? Welcome to the shack. And as you can see, he's got a very nice uh, combination of some really old vintage Drake equipment and some newer but still vintage ICOM 720 equipment. The uh, ICOM 720 equipment there dates from the uh, early to mid 1980s. As you can see, he's got the full uh, complement. He's got the power supply. He's got the 720A. And let's zoom in here on the 2KL amplifier as well as the auto tuner. And those all work seamlessly. We haven't done anything to change their operation. Now, it's the year 2011. What could be updated and upgraded as far as day-to-day -day operation in 2011? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is the rotary relay issue. A lot of people have complained about this, including myself. It's very noisy, and uh, after a while it needs some really uh, careful alignment, else it, it will stop finding where it is and it will just never work properly. The other issue is that it doesn't work with Ham Radio Deluxe. Well, as I've shown in another video, I've taken care of that problem. I've built an interface so that the 720A can interface to Ham Radio Deluxe. When I first made that video, it was rather a crude version of the interface and it was still on proto boards. Since then, I've made a circuit board and Greg has also made the circuit board and he's put it inside of a nice box. So we're going to uh, zoom in on the nice box and show you what he's done. There's the box right there. As you can tell, it's a little bit reminiscent, uh, definitely has a family resemblance to the other ICOM equipment. And then inside, there's the circuit board that I made. Try to focus in on that. And in the back, he has two Molex connectors. One is so that the other equipment can pass through this, namely the uh, uh, antenna tuner and the amplifier, so they just pass through this thing and then the uh, other Molex connectors to connect to the radio. So we have the functionality of the old equipment and the new going through this interface. Now the other issue with the relays, we don't know how much we'll be able to show that to you, but we're going to try. Now first of all, we're going to change bands with the uh, Ham Radio Deluxe interface. Let me see if I can get this in the same picture. Okay, what I'm going to do, Dave, is I'm going to turn off the linear amplifier and the automatic antenna tuner so they won't hear a clicking. That clicking uh, from the relays from these two pieces of equipment, so I don't want them to get confused with the noise that they might hear from the ICOM 720. And I just give a second for the power supply to bleed down on the linear. Okay, now right. I'm going to change bands using Hamrail Deluxe to operate the ICOM 720. Okay, we don't know if you can hear the uh, the sound of the relay. You may not be able to. I'm going. This uh, camera has a built-in microphone. I'm going to move it closer to the uh, radio to see if maybe you can hear it. Go ahead. All right, there you go. So there is a, a quick demonstration of both Ham Radio Deluxe interface and the relay mod, which is available, or at least my version of it is available on my website in a PDF form. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.